Question 9 reads, if t is greater than w, how much greater is the sum of s and t than the sum of s and w? Now there are a number of ways to do this problem, but I'm going to recommend you make up numbers. Remember we make up numbers anytime we have an algebraic problem that we want to turn into an arithmetic problem. Because looking at this problem, the only stipulations on the variables s, t, and w are that t is greater than w, and then s could be truly anything. So, because there are lots of options for what the variables could be, we'll make up numbers. Okay, so let's make up numbers. All we know is that t has to be greater than w. So I'll say t is equal to 7, and w is equal to 5. Okay, now we need a number for s. And we can pick anything in the world for s, but I will pick 4. Okay, now that we've made up our numbers, let's just solve the problem. How much greater is the sum of s and t? Well, what is the sum of s and t? It's 11. So I'm actually going to totally replace that with 11. Then the sum of s and w. Well, what is the sum of s and w? It's 9. So I'll replace this with 9. And now the question reads, how much greater is 11 than 9? Well, that's an easy problem to answer. It's just 11 minus 9, or 2. So we know the correct answer to the question is 2. Of course, none of the answer choices say 2. They all have s's, t's, and w's in them. But we're going to use the numbers that we've made up for s, t, and w to figure out which answer choice actually says 2. OK, so let's look at a, s minus t. s minus t is 4 minus 7, which is negative 3. That's definitely not 2. 2s minus w. Well, that's 2 times s, or 8, minus 5, which is 3. Still not what we want. C says t minus w. That's 7 minus 5, or 2. We've found what we want, but when we make up numbers, we should check all the answer choices just to be safe. There's always a possibility that we've, you know, managed to make up a set of numbers that will, you know, mess up our results. So let's just make sure that they're all correct. So t plus w. That's 7 plus 5, or 12, so no. And finally, 2s, or 8, minus t, minus w. So that's 8 minus 7, or 1, minus 5 is negative 4. So now we see that there's one and only one answer choice that works out the way we want it to, and that is c. And that's how you do it, by making up numbers. Please continue to check out more MindFish videos.